Okay, welcome back everyone. So today we are going to see some new questions added by ICI after many years in the module in the chapter of ratio proportion log and indices. So the questions are on ratio proportion only. Nothing is there on log and indices. Nearly all of the questions are based on profit sharing ratio. And only one question is there on time and work. ICI has also introduced a couple of new concepts in this chapter in MTPs which are not there in module. So uh, if you want to know more about them, do join the telegram channel, the link of which I have given in the description. So I have posted a lot of questions on these concepts, which you will be able to practice. And there are short solution videos also. So let's start before we start some rules as usual. First, the lecture will be in simple English so that everyone will be able to understand. And these are word problems. So it is very important that you understand the language of the problem. Because after all, you are going to give the paper in English and not in your mother tongue. So it is very important to understand and interpret the problem correctly to get the answer. Second, we are going to uh, see the concept also in short because it is a new concept. And then we'll see how to solve this question from exam point of view. Because after all, it is important that you get the answer in one minute in exam. So that is very important. So we'll see how to calculate it first. Third, ideally you should solve this by yourself first. And then come to the video because if you try it by yourself first and then see some solution, then it is going to help you remember from exam point of view. Because in an exam, if something new comes up, you are not going to have some video or YouTube for reference, right? So you have to develop the ability to think by yourself first. So try it by yourself first, then come back, see the video. You'll see some tricks and some concepts. So let's start immediately. Question 98. P and Q started a business investing 85,000 and 15,000 respectively. In what ratio the profit earned after two years be divided between P and Q respectively? Now, obviously the ratio will be what 85 is to 15. That's it. You have calculator. So don't reduce the ratios. It will waste. I mean, don't waste your time in that. Okay. Here, if you see 85 is greater than 15, right? So P share has to be greater than Q share. But 3 is to 4 is not the answer, obviously, because 3 is less than 4, so not correct. Again, 3 is less than 5, so not correct. 15 is to 23 is also not the answer, because 15 is less than 23. Understand, P's share cannot be less than Q's share, because P has invested more amount. And obviously, this is also wrong. So none of the answers give correct answer. None of the options give correct answer. 85 is to 15 is the correct answer. 99. Anand and Deepak started a business investing 20 to 500 and 35,000 respectively. Out of a total profit of 13,800, Deepak's share is how much? Okay. Now, Anand and Deepak's ratio of capital is what? 20 to 500 is to 35,000. Okay. You have calculator, so do not reduce this. Okay. There is obviously a direct way to calculate using your calculator. Now, what is total profit? 13,800. Okay. Out of which... Deepak's share is what? 35,000. Out of what? Total of these two. What is total of these two? 22,500 plus 35,000 is 57,500. So understand, out of 57,500, Deepak's share is 35,000. So how much out of 13,800? So it is always going to be Deepak's share, for example, out of total into that profit, right? So 13,800 divided by 57,500 into 35,000, that is 8,400 option C. Next, ABC enter into a partnership investing 35,000, 45,000 and 55,000 respectively. So the ratio is 35, 45, 55. You can ignore thousands, right? That is easy. The respective shares of ABC in annual profit of 40,500 are, again, simple, Take total of these first, 35 plus 45 plus 55. What is the total? 135. So you can get the shares easily. How to get the shares? 40,500 into. For A, what you'll do is the share is 35 out of 135. For B, you'll do 40,500 into 45 out of 135. And for C, you'll do 40,500 into 55 out of 135. Okay. Now from exam point of view, there are some tricks that you can use to get answer fast. Okay, what are the tricks? Understand. If you see the options, okay, A's share is same in two of the options, right? C's share is also same in two of the options. 
but if you observe b's values are all different right that means you don't really need to calculate a b c even if you calculate just b you'll get the answer directly right because b has all different values in the options so what was b's share the middle value 40500 divided by 135 into 45 that is 13500 if you see 13500 is only there in option a so option a is the correct answer okay i explained that is why this took nearly like one minute but if you solve by yourself it will take you five to six seconds because if you observe that this is different then just calculate b share and ignore everything else okay next reena and shalu are partners in business reena invests 35000 for 8 months and shalu invests 42000 for 10 months out of a profit of 31570 reena's share is how much now this is a tricky question understand if you understand the trick then everything is easy okay they have invested some amount how much has reena invested 35000 and 42000 right 35000 and 42000 okay but you cannot take ratio of these amounts because this, those amounts are do not have equal value or equal weight. Why? Because 35,000 was invested for 8 months. Whereas 42,000 was invested for 10 months. That means if you see, this is Reena, this is Shalu. So Shalu took the risk for more time, right? Because she invested for 10 months. Whereas Reena took the risk for only 8 months. So they should not be given same weightage. So what do we do? we multiply this we calculate months into amount so what is 35000 into 8 280000 what is 42000 into 10 420000 right so you can ignore the zeros and just take the ratio as 28 is to 42 that's it so 28 is to 42 is going to be our profit sharing ratio so you just do amount into months or years whatever this is the same concept that you will see uh, in obviously you see this in weighted average also but you'll see this in accounting standard 16 borrowing costs also when you go to ca intermediate okay fine so now we know profit 31 570 we know ratio for 28 and 42 what is 28 plus 42 70 right okay let me reduce this size is this better huh, 70 yes this is better so how do we divide 31 570 into rena's share which is 28 by total which is 70 so how much is that 31570 into 28 by 70 which is 12628 option b b is the correct answer next now if you if you have understood this question then you have understood all other questions because they are similar but if you still have any doubt listen to this one carefully kanchan started a business investing 9000 after 5 months now here it is very important to interpret the english language properly after five months samir joined with a capital of 8000 if at the end of the year they earn profit of 6970 what is share of samir fine we have to do same thing right kanchan has invested 9000 samir has invested 8000 but the important thing is for how many months they have invested now concentrate kanchan started that means she started from day zero after five months samir joined and they are asking they are given they have given profit at the end of the year that means kanchan was there for all 12 months whereas Samir's, samir was there he joined after 5 months so 12 minus 5 he was there only for 7 months right so to calculate ratio it will be 9000 into 12 which is 108000 is to 8000 into 7 which is 56000 right you can delete these three zeros so the ratio will be 108 is to 56 now they have given profit. How much is the profit? 6970. Let's calculate some year's shares. That is easy now. What is 108 plus 56? 164. Okay. So now this is easy. 6970 into some year's share is 56 upon 164. So how much is that? 6970 into 56 upon 164. 2380 is the correct answer. Option B. Okay. Right. Next. 103. Simran started a software business by investing 50,000. After 6 months, Nanda joined her with capital of 80,000. After 3 years, they earned profit of 24,500. What was Simran's share? Again, same question, just number of years is different. That does not matter to us, right? So Simran has invested 50,000. 
Nanda has invested eighty thousand. But Simran has invested for three years, right? Because she was there from start. And if you see, Nanda joined after six months. That means can I say she was there for two and half years, right? She joined after six months, so two point five. You can do this in months also. Okay, that is fine. You can take uh, what? Who is she? Simran. Simran has thirty six months, and Nanda has thirty months. That will be same. So fifty thousand into three is one lakh fifty thousand, and eighty thousand into two point five is how much? Two lakhs, right? So the ratio is what? 15 is to 20. You can cancel four zeros. So 15 is to 20 is simply the ratio. What is 15 plus 20? 35. So profit of 24,500 will be divided. Simran will get 15 out of 35. Correct. So 24,500 divided by 15 into 35. Sorry. 24,500 divided by 35 into 15. That is ten thousand five hundred, which is option B. Okay, next. Now, next few questions are similar. Okay, so there is nothing too great about it. If you have understood the concept, then you should be able to solve all of these. Okay, just check the answer and see if you can get the same answer. A and B started a business in partnership by investing twenty thousand, fifteen thousand respectively. After six months, C joined them. So A and B were there from start. C joined them after six months with twenty thousand. What will be B share in total profit of twenty thousand earned at the end of two tiers? So this is years, not tiers, from starting of the business. Okay, fine. So total profit is twenty thousand. A, B, C, twenty thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand, right? So A has invested twenty thousand. B has invested fifteen thousand. C has invested twenty thousand. In fact, you can ignore zeros from here also, right? You can just take twenty, fifteen, twenty. Does not matter. They are asking profit. They have given profit at the end of two years. So A and B were there for two years, whereas C joined after six months. So C was there for one point five years only, right? So twenty into two is forty, thirty, thirty. So the ratio is going to be four, four is to three is to three. Okay. What is total of four three three ten, right? So now we can get the answer. So profit is twenty thousand rupees. They are asking for B share. So it will be twenty thousand into B share is three out of ten. So how much is that? Sorry, okay, twenty thousand divided by ten into three. That is going to be six thousand. So six thousand will be B share. Where is it? Nowhere. So six thousand is the correct answer. None of these is the correct answer. Okay. Fine, they have made some mistakes, but fine, we can ignore that. The questions are good. One zero five. Aman started a business investing seventy thousand. Rakhi joined him after six months. Okay, let's start writing the amounts. Aman is seventy. I'm writing in thousands. Rakhi joined after six months with amount of one lakh five thousand. So I'm just ignoring last three zeros. So Rakhi is one zero five. Okay. Sagar joined them with one lakh forty thousand, one point four lakhs, so one forty thousand. Sagar, after another six months, the amount of profit earned should be distributed in what ratio among six months? Okay, no, this is wrong. Okay, so um, they, ignore that among six months. The amount of okay, they have repeated this, so ignore this sentence. The amount profit, amount of profit earned should be distributed in what ratio among Aman, Rakhi, and Sagar? respectively 3 years after aman started the business so that means aman was there for 3 years rakhi joined after 6 months that means she was there for 2 and 1/2 years sagar joined after another 6 months so he was there for 2 month 2 uh, years right so the ratio is going to be 70 into 3 which is 210 is to 105 into 2.5 which is let me check 262.5 is to 140 into 2 which is 280 So they are just asking ratio. Okay, when you want to confirm ratio, there is no need to reduce this. You have calculator. Okay, so use your calculator. How to use your calculator? Just do this divided by this. Two ten divided by two sixty two point five zero point eight. Also do this divided by this, which is two sixty two point five divided by two eighty, which is point nine seven three five. Sorry, nine three seven five. Let me take this here. Okay. Now in options also do the same thing. Check seven by six and six by ten. 
7 by 6 is it 0 0.8 no so this is not the answer again check 12 by 15 what is 12 by 15 0 0.8 so it is matching with this and what is 15 by 16 that is 0.9375 so it is also matching with this option b is the correct answer okay i am explaining that is why it is taking time but if you solve it by yourself if you get used to it then you can do it fast in like 5 6 seconds okay should not take much time okay so next is 106 there is a little bit of twist in 106 not much a began a business with 85000 and is joined afterwards by b with 42500 so let's write that 85000 so 85 42500 so 42.5 for how much period does b join if profits at the end of the year are divided in the ratio of 3 is to 1 so we know the ratio we have to calculate months we know that a is there for entire year so all 12 months let's say b is there for x months what is 85 into 12 1020 is to 42.5 x this is equal to 3 is to 1 because they have already given the ratio right so 1020 divided by 42.5x is equal to 3 by 1. So 3, right? So take x to right hand side, bring 3 to left hand side. So 1020 divided by 42.5 divided by 3. So x is going to be 8. So b was there for 8 months. So for how much period does b join? For 8 months. If they ask after how much period does b join? Then 4 months because he joined after 4 months and he was there for 8 months. 8 plus 4 is 12, 1 year next a b and c enter into partnership by investing in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 4 after one year b invests another 2,72,000 and c at the end of two years also invests 2,70,000 at the end of the year profits are shared in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5 find the initial investment of each now this is a very good question hmm. let's solve now let me open notes for this just give me a minute okay now before i go to notes let me tell you that this is not, uh, I mean, this question is not framed in a good way. Why? Because they are asking find initial investment of each. Hmm. Initial investment is already given that it is the it is in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 4. So you can directly check which option is in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 4 and you will get your answer. Right? If you check option 1, 3 is to 2, 3 by 2 is what? 1.5 and 2 by 4 is what? 0 0.5. So check each option. 2,70 by 1,80. How much is that? 2,70 by 1,80. 1.5. That is correct. And 1,80 by 3,60. 0.5. So that is also correct. So this is going to be our answer. Obviously, you have to check all options. Okay. I have checked them and none of the other options are 3 is to 2 is to 4. But in exam, okay, if this question, I mean, question comes like this, you can take A. But if they ask, what is B's share? What is B's initial investment? Okay. And they only give... 1,80,000, 1,50,000 as options. They will not be able to solve by options, right? Then you have to solve it properly. So let's solve it properly. Hmm. Okay, so let's try. Now, to solve it properly, we'll have to form an equation. Okay, because going by options will take too much time in that case. So let's form an equation. They are saying initially they invested in 3 is to 2 is to 4 ratio. So let's assume that they invested amounts 3x. 2x and 4x okay a b c now these amounts are invested initially that means these amounts are there for three years so we have to multiply by three okay because all amounts are there for three years these so 9x 6x and 4 into 3 is 12x now b added something what did b add b invested another 270,000 at the end of one year so in b share we have to add 270,000 for how much time did he invest? He invested after one year. That means it was there for two years. So into two. And C also invested something. What? Uh, 270,000 at the end of two years. That means his 270,000 was there only for last one year. Okay. So these are shares of A, B and C. Which they have given us is 3 is to something. Right? What? 3 is to 4 is to 5. Now we can form an equation by taking any two values. Let's take only A and B. Okay, 9x divided by 6x plus 2 lakh 70,000 into 2 is how much? 5 lakh 40,000. 5.4 lakhs I am writing is equal to 3 by 4. Let's solve this. 36x is equal to 
18 x plus 5.4 into 3 is 16.2 lakhs. Okay. Let's subtract this 18 x from here. So 18 x is equal to 16.2 lakhs. So x will be what 16.2 lakhs divided by 18. So if you do it in lakhs, it is 90,000. So if x is 90,000, what is a share? Original 3x, a's amount, b's amount will be 2x, c's amount will be 4x. So it is 3 into 90,000, 2 into 90,000, 4 into 90,000, which if you see is going to be 270, 180, 360, option A. Okay, so simple. If you have not understood, let me know in comments. This was a bit complicated. Okay, 108. A, B and C enter into partnership. A invests three times as much as B invests and B invests two third of what C invests. At the end of the year, the profit earned is 6600, 6600. What is the share of B? Okay. Now, this is actually a normal question of ratios. They have just introduced profit here they, because there is no months or anything, right? Everyone is invested at the same time. So, we can solve it just like we solve any other uh, question of ratios. So, just a second. In such kind of word problems, my strategy is assume number for one of them. Okay, let me tell you how to do that. They have given A invests three times as much as B. B invests two third of what C invests. Okay, so let's start with C. Let's assume that C invests 300 rupees. Hmm. Because doing two third will be easier, right? Now they are saying B has invested two third of what C has invested. So what is 300 into two third? 300 into two by three is 200. So that means B's amount is 200. And they are saying A invests three times as much as B. That means A's share will be 200 into three, which is 600. So the ratio is going to be now six is to two is to three. Now it is easy because let's take total 6 plus 2 plus 3 is going to be <coughs> 11. So 6600 into what B share they are asking, right? B share is 2, the middle one. So 2 by 11. So how much is the answer? 6600 divided by 11 into 2. That is 1200 option A. Okay. Okay. So question 109 is a bit different and very important. It is a question on time and work. Now, these kind of questions were not there in foundation till now. These kind of questions are there in all other competitive exams. Foundation is not a competitive exam, okay? But exams like management entrance, so CAT, SNAP, ZAT, so all these exams do have time and work questions. They have a lot of focus on these kind of questions. Time and work, time, speed and distance, then, you know, provisions remaining, that is water remaining, food remaining for a certain number of days or work completed and so on. But ICI has also introduced these kind of questions recently, which is good, but you have to learn a few different tricks for them. Once you understand those tricks conceptually, then it is very easy because after all, every question is what? Just put it into equation and solve. That's it. So once you understand that trick, then it is very easy. Okay. So personally, I have given CAT also in 2021. I had uh, scored 99.63 percentile at that time. And what I observed was, CAT is very quant heavy. Okay, so they have their, their mathematics section is uh, for someone who has done CA foundation, that section is crazily difficult. But that is focused on engineers and students from all uh, sections. Okay, but now ICI has also uh, started to introduce these kind of questions. So they are trying to increase the level of difficulty a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. Okay, which is good also. But then you have to understand some new tricks. You have to understand some new concepts. Once you do that, it is simple. Nothing too, dim, too you know, uh, great. Fine. Let's read this. <laughs> Just give me a second. <coughs> okay. So this is a very interesting question. Now focus. A and B can do a work in eight days. B and C can do the same work in 12 days. A, B and C together can finish it in six days. So A and C together will do it in how many days? Now there is a uh, important concept here. Understand, A and B can do some work in eight days. Okay. Suppose, forget about this question for some time now. Let me find some blank area. Okay. Suppose some person can do something in ten days. Okay. That means he is doing the work on first day, second day, third day, up to ten days, right? Equal amount of work every day. 
so can i say every day he is doing 10% of work or 1 by 10 work okay on first day he'll do 1 by 10 on second day he'll do 1 by 10 third day fourth day and so on if we add all of this this will be what 10 times 1 by 10 which is 1 which is complete work 1 is complete 100 percent okay or we can write this in percentage form also so can i say he is doing 10 percent work every day so first day second day third day and so on so if we add it 10 times it will be 100 percent now, if you go by percentage, this becomes very simple. Now, let me tell you, if someone is doing work in 10 days, we'll take percentage as what? 1 by 10, which is 10% every day. If someone is doing the work in, let's say, 15 days, then we'll say that he is doing 1 by 15, which is into 100, which is 6.666% every day. If someone is doing work in 5 days, we'll say that he is doing 1 by 5, into 100 which is 20 percent every day then can i say if someone is doing work in eight days that means they are doing one by eight into 100 how much is that 12.5 percent work every day so can i say a plus b do 12.5 percent of work every day then next B and C can do the same work in 12 days. Again, 1 by 12 is how much? 1 by 12 into 100 is 8.333. So, B plus C can do 8.333. And A plus B plus C can do what? 6 days. 1 by 6 into 100 is how much? 16.666. Okay. So, now we have three equations. It is very easy. If we calculate A and C, then we'll get our answer. Okay, let's try to do that. We have A plus B plus C. We also have B plus C, right? So, okay, concentrate. Let's call this 1. Let's call this 2. Let's call this 3. Okay, I am, uh, I, I don't generally teach concepts in these short videos. Okay, but so I, I teach them in the regular batch and revision batch which you find on the channel. It is available for free. But fine, so concentrate carefully. Hmm. Now, can I subtract 2 from 3 so that BC, BC will be cancelled, we'll get value of A. So, A is going to be what? A is going to be 16.6666 minus 8.33333, which is 8.333. We have got A, so we can find B. Okay, if A is 8.3333, we know that A plus B is 12.5. So, B will be what? 12.5 minus 8.33333. So, B is... 4.16 recurring and what is C? If B is 4.16 recurring, C will be 8.33333 minus 4.16666 which is again 4.16666. It looks complicated but it is simple. It is just equations, nothing else, right? You convert days to percentage and then you find equations. Now we know A and C. So how much do A and C work in one day? 8.33333 plus 4.16666 that is if you see 12.5 percent i say 12.5 percent they work 12.5 percent in one day so how many days will they need 100 by 12.5 which is eight days so eight days will be the correct answer okay again understand what i did when it is days let's say someone is doing work in 10 days we say that he is doing 1 by 10 that is 10% work every day. If I say someone is doing, let's say, 8.333333% work every day, then what I do? I'll convert this in opposite way. 100 divided by 8.3333, which is 12 days. Again, if someone is doing something in 15 days, I'll say that they are doing 1 by 15 into 100. That is how much? 6.666% work every day. If someone is doing 30% work every day, then I'll say that 100 by 30, which is they take 3.333 days for this. Okay. If you want, let me know in comments. I'll upload a separate video for these kind of questions. But converting days to percentages is a trick which if you understand logically, 
then you can solve any question within one two minutes it will not take more time okay but you have to understand that concept logically only then you'll be able to easily convert days to percentage percentage to days otherwise if you don't want to use percentages then this question becomes a bit complicated why because then you have to use variables such as 1 by a 1 by b and 1 by c then solving that becomes complicated instead it is very easy to convert days to percentage and percentage to days if you have any confusion regarding this question 109 let me know in comments i'll upload a separate video on this i have also put i mean i'll also put over next one or two days questions on this concept on the telegram channel so do join it if you have not yet okay fine so i hope this was helpful to everyone and study well all the best if you have any doubts feel free to ask me on the telegram group or personally to me on telegram or in youtube comments if you do like it please consider subscribing to the channel so that i get motivated to keep on making more videos okay fine thank you then let's stop here bye everyone